everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Beltress Dalgona 16 in the color Bombshell Blonde. This is my first time seeing this color and this wig. So if you want to know more about this heat friendly, mid length wavy style, fully hand tied cap. Stick around. Thank you so much, Name Brand Wigs, for allowing me the opportunity to see a style and a color that I've never seen before and share it with my wig sisters. If you guys have not checked them out yet, please go to their website. It is namebrandwigs.com. I do have a link in the description to this particular piece. If you use the code DENISE30, you will get 30% off. They're a wonderful retailer. They have education, a blog, really great customer service. If you need help on your wig wearing journey, Name Brand Wigs can really be a good resource for you. Okay, let's take a look at this one all the way around. It's a great style. Oh my goodness. First of all, the density is the perfect density. It's not heavy density. It's not such a light density that it almost reminds you of your thinning hair. It's just right in between. It's not a ton of hair, but it's enough hair that you really feel beautiful and fancy. And with the fully hand tied cap, there's no permatease or poof, but What's surprising me, and I'm going to look in this mirror, is it's got a, a nice silhouette sometimes in these lower density, I'd say this is low to moderate density wigs with no permatease, they can be really, really flat. And I struggle with wigs when they're too flat because I'm a bigger girl, I have a round face, I like just a little bit of volume and this has it, but not too much. It's so great. And this hand tied cap is incredibly comfortable. I almost don't feel like I have a wig on my head. Bell Tress wigs do tend to run large. They are known as more of an average large brand. And so typically they run big on me and I usually have to cinch them in. And I just always feel like they're a little bit big on me. This one is really quite comfortable, but it definitely is a little big on me. Now it's got some stretch, but not a ton of stretch. Typically, bell tress caps have a lot of stretch. This fully hand tied cap doesn't have as much stretch as their wefted caps tend to have. And I get, you know, I get some extra cap up here, but like if I really work at it, I can show you that extra cap. But this hand tied cap is so soft, it just really um, forms to my head, and I don't feel like it's gapping or bulking. It's just very, very comfortable. Now this does have a um, lace front and it has a mono top. So we'll take a look inside the cap, but let me show you that lace front. There you go right there and just watch it melt. They did a great job. They brought the brightest highlights all the way up to the front so that you don't see any dark knotting. It's gorgeous. I am so impressed with this lace front, honestly. The other thing I've noticed is it's not a very long lace front. Sometimes I trim the lace fronts on my bell truss wigs. I don't actually think I would have the need to do that on this one. It's just sort of the perfect length. Let me get it. It's wanting to fold back up on me. So let me get this situated so I can actually show you that lace front. There we go. There's that lace front. There is that mono top and all of that lace. This is a really interesting monofilament because they bring the lace all the way to the ear tabs. So you've got all that lace all the way along the sides and it's generous. It's a generous amount. And then you've got all of this with no seam. A lot of the time when you have a lace front, mono top, you get a seam in between. There is no seam on this. That's wonderful because sometimes you can see that seam. We have silicone ear tabs with metal stays in them. So if you wanted to adhere the ear tabs 
to get the most secure fit, you sure could do that. And then we've got a little bit of an extended nape, flowery material, not soft material. And then we've got the bra strap adjusters. And all of this is hand tied. All of it. I was standing on the opposite side of this cap than I normally do when I do these videos. It felt odd to me. All of this is hand tied. No closed wefting, just hand tied goodness. Why does that matter? Well, first of all, if you want to do styling, you want to do braids, updos, you don't have to worry about trying to hide the wefting. There isn't any. If you are outside and the wind blows like crazy and the hair shifts around, you don't see wefts. You just see through the cap. If you've got bio hair that's darker than the cap, it may not give the most realistic natural look. I don't think it'll look too bad, but if you want something to look like scalp and you've got hair, I would just wear a wig cap with it that will that's flesh colored and that will really help to mimic scalp. I never do that and I don't worry about it. So that's just my two cents. But oh gosh, you guys, this is so nice. It's just like the perfect density and everything. Now, you can part this anywhere. It came with a left going to the right part, but if you wanted to take a, a comb or something and you wanted to change that part, you can do it a center part, you can do it a right part. Whatever you want to do is just fine. Now, these are heat friendly fibers, so you can take heat to them to, um, and let's say you have trouble getting that part to adjust, you can take heat to them. I have a video showing you how to do that. Um, you can take heat to maybe relax if you don't want any of this wave, or you can put more curl in this. You really can do whatever you want. Heat friendly styles do need some special care. You should take heat to them periodically to keep the ends nice, especially on a length like this where the ends are going to rub up on your clothing. You'll want to periodically take heat to it. I do have a video where I show you how to do that with straight wigs. I have not mastered the curly and wavy heat friendly yet. I just haven't really worn any of those enough. And so I don't have any education on that. Now you could follow my instructions for a straight style, but please know that when you take heat to a wig, you do alter the curl or wave pattern. You either add one in or you relax one. So you'll want to be very careful how much heat you take to these ends. Otherwise you'll end up straightening it. So just do more research if you're new to heat friendly wigs. I think Beltrust fibers are stunning. I love their fibers. They feel so realistic. If Of all the synthetic wigs on the market, Beltrust are the ones that I think of when I think of the most realistic feeling if it's straight synthetic. I love other brands, but this one, I just love their fibers. I think they're very, very realistic feeling. If you want to cut a bang in this one, you can, but I think you'll want to be cautious because of the waves. Depending on your piece, like mine, the waves really don't start till you get past the bang level, so it should be fine. But you might get one where the where there's a little bit higher up waves. That is one of the variations you'll see. And so that may impact it. You can take heat to straighten them. If you cut a bang in and it won't lay flat, you can take heat to it. A round brush, a hot air brush, hot comb, lots of options out there, especially too, if there is a little bit of a cowlick where it wants to part, then you might need to take heat to get it to lay down. But that would be just fine to be able to cut a bang in as long as you're comfortable taking heat to it. This is definitely tuckable. You can see my bio hair right there. If I were to wear this one, I would have a wig grip on so I could pull my bio hair up so you couldn't see it. Or I would have to use some root powder to because this is rooted, but it, my bio hair is a lot darker than the root. So I would have to take some root powder to it um, to try to blend that bio hair. But when I when my bio hair isn't poking out, it's just an awkward length right now that it's hard to get to do anything but stick out. Um, I get really good coverage with these. Uh, the ear tabs come nice and low. And because these are silicone and not the fabric kind, they're actually very low profile. I have no issues tucking. It's almost like there's nothing here, but it does have that metal stay in there so you can adjust it if you need to kind of cinch that in and, and make it so that the wig fits you just a little bit tighter. All right, let's talk about this color. 
beautiful, beautiful platinum blonde. So this is bombshell blonde. And the rooting on this is actually quite um, good, even though because of the how blonde this is, in some light, my studio lighting especially, it can look a little dark. It is not dark. Let me get close. It's a beautiful, I would call that a light brown. It's got some warmth to it. So you've got a, just a very light brown. And then you've got this platinum. There is some, like a little bit of more of a honey blonde, I would say. But there's a lot of platinum in here. This is not a yellow blonde. The, the little tiny contrasting colors, if the whole wig were that color, I would maybe call it more of a yellow blonde. But there's just enough dynamic to give it some interest but it's not yellow at all. It's definitely very, very white blonde, not white gray. Hard to describe sometimes, especially when you're not a blonde, trying to find the right words. So I think the biggest takeaway for me about this color is the rooting is subtle. And so that gives this a different look than a lot of other of the sort of more platinum blonde rooted wigs on the market because sometimes that rooting can look so dark. It almost looks like a bleach blonde, but because that's not a super dark rooting, it's not like that. For me personally, as somebody with dark brunette hair, I can't wear blondes unless they're rooted. This is kind of a borderline root for me, I'll be honest with you guys. It's not very dark, and so it's just a little bit different for me as someone who, you know, never has been blonde until I started wearing wigs. So rooting can really make or break your comfort level with a wig. So if you've purchased very blonde wigs before and you struggled with the root being too dark, you might want to try this one because it's really not. For those of you who don't like rooted wigs, though, um, you know, this is a root. One way or the other, it is a root. It just happens to be probably one of the lightest roots I've seen on a, some, a wig this blonde, at least. All right, you guys, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. It's very, very gray outside and snowy, but at least you'll get to see some natural light. I think this is a stunning piece. If you are able to afford a fully hand-tied cap, I really think it's awesome. One of the things I love about hand tie caps, I'll just say really quickly, is the fact that if somebody touches your head, they can't tell that you have a wig on. That is huge. If you're dating or if you're just really self-conscious about it around your husband, the fact that somebody could like come in and like just kind of touch the back of your head, they won't know you have a wig on. Of course, if they're going to give you a scalp massage, they're going to feel the cap, they're going to feel the knotting, but just putting your hand on it, there's no way that they will know. And the other great thing that about that is you can wear hat, excuse me, you can wear hats with it. You can do all kinds of things with this wig and it's just going to look so natural and realistic. If you want to style it, you want to pull it back in a ponytail. That's going to be so easy to do. Your biggest concern is, you know, blending your own bio hair. I have I have videos where I show you how to do that, but I mean, you can do a low pony. You can do a I'm, I'm pulling the wig off my head as as I do this because it's a little big on me. Um so really honestly, styling is going to be so fun with this one or just wearing it down. It's a great great piece. Okay. Now let's get outside. All right, friends, we are outside with this bombshell blonde color. It's so hard because we have a lot of snow and I just don't have dark backgrounds to kind of get up against. So hopefully this will do enough to give you a sense of this color, especially of the rooting. So you can really see this unique rooting.
Sometimes just turning allows the light to hit it differently. All right, guys, thanks for watching.